Hello and welcome to HyperDog Digital, this is Scott. Today we're going to take a look at this laptop right here. This is the HP EliteBook 840 G6. Now this is a business class laptop and looking at the specs online before I started the video there were just a multitude of different options that you could you could configure for this guy and that is really a good thing for a business class laptop so that you can basically set it up to do whatever you want if you want it to be minimal power and just be something that people can use as almost a thin client for connecting to VDI or maybe just to take for sales or or business meetings or something like that uh, then you can definitely set it up like that or you can beef it up and, and have it more as a developer box or something like that so this is definitely a very versatile uh, device but let's before we even get into that let's just take a look at the device itself it's got uh, a really nice kind of metallic feel to it and uh, it does fit together really nice no real seams or anything like that you know nothing no real rounded edges that don't really go together or anything something that uh, for me is uh, you know just a nitpick for for me but it's got some venting on the side here and uh, your Kensington lock and then one USB port over here and then a smart card slot on the other side you have a slot for a sim card or I'm sorry a sim, yeah, a sim card or might be an SD card but it actually says sim there so it would be for sim card and your headphone jack another USB port HDMI your network port this is for the docking station and you have a USB type C and your power so that is it as far as the ports go on the back you have nothing on the bottom is some more venting and no speakers or anything like that so it's just the little bumpers and these little squares here are also for the docking station and let's see the top is nothing but your logo and that's it there's really nothing else on here pretty straightforward let's go ahead and open it up and take a look you can see on the screen here it's a it's got a nice size screen bezels are not too big on the sides you have camera up here at the top and this also has a little shutter that you can open and close I wish there was a little bit better mechanism for actually opening and closing it because you're basically just trying to put some pressure on it and slide it over unless I'm missing something and uh, I always feel like I'm gonna scratch the camera up when I do that so I'm not a real fond of how that works on there I'll get you a little bit better view but that's that's basically how that works I don't know how else you would you would move that back and forth you do have I believe these are infrared sensors there but I don't think they are actually enabled on this one here uh, the keyboard is your standard size keyboard nice size trackpad buttons and your little pointer doohickey here in the middle your speakers are right up here at the top and you do have a fingerprint reader now this is my actually my my work laptop from my lovely nine to five job that I have so it is locked down fairly well uh, so I don't have uh, a ton of uh, power to it or I, I can't install you know a bunch of games or anything like like that but again I'm not really going to talk about the performance with it because of how configurable this is and how many different options you have for processor and memory and disk and all the different stuff that's going to greatly affect your performance on this so with that in mind let's go ahead and just take a look at the, the different specs you can have on here and we'll come back and talk about performance after that Okay, so 
there are the specs and as you can see there are a lot of options you can definitely beef this guy up if you want to or or trim it down and make it a little more of a thin client or just uh, something to take to trade shows or something like that but it's very it's a very nice laptop it's got it's pretty light to it, it doesn't have a lot of weight it's very sturdy uh, I think HP makes great devices they're always very well made and this one is is definitely no different it, uh, it there's no creaking or anything like that it uh, just seems to work out really well and seems to be very sturdy I have certainly dropped it a few times hopefully my work doesn't find out about it but of course this is like I mentioned my work laptop so I wasn't able to really put it through a bunch of you know playing games or different things like that on it uh, as I mentioned there's a lot of different performance options that you can set on it uh, so definitely if it's not the version that I had is not powerful enough you can definitely crank it up and get something that's got a little bit more power to it and probably handle whatever you're looking for but based on just what I have uh, it, it definitely works great it, it powers up very quickly I get into Windows and everything runs very quickly I don't have any problems running anything I run your typical uh, office type stuff so you know I'm running Microsoft Office I'm running PowerPoint I'm running Skype uh, these type of things I'm running Outlook so I mean there's there's nothing really really huge that I'm running uh, that, that would really put a lot of pressure on it or anything like that but like I said it all depends on how you spec it out so overall I think this is a really nice laptop like I said it's it's very sturdy it's light it's thin it's easy to carry it's not very heavy in my backpack chuck, chugging it back and forth to work every day so I'm I definitely like using this a lot more than I did my last one that I had there's a lot of configurations options so you can really basically spec it out to do whatever you're looking to do uh, it's got uh, all kinds of nice security options as far as the, the the shutter on the camera you've got fingerprint reader you've got the smart card it's got the infrared cameras on there if you wanted to do the face unlock or something like that but other than that I, I've had no problems with it at all it's been a really great experience I'm really happy with it again it's fast it, it does everything I need to do it's, it's quick to boot up it's very sturdy it's got a nice feel to it it looks good I don't really have anything, any bad things to say about it at this point other than I wish they would have given me a little bit more power, but I am at the mercy of my employer. So that is it. That's all I got. Hopefully this video has been a little bit helpful to you, and we'll see you again next time on HyperDog Digital. Thanks. Hey, this is Scott for HyperDog Digital. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos and reviews, be sure to check us out at HyperDogDigital.com. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you know when we put up new content. If there's something you'd like us to review or you have a product you want to send us for review, feel free to send us an email at reviews at hyperdogdigital.com. We're also looking for sponsors right now, so if you are interested in being a sponsor for our channel, contact us at sponsor at hyperdogdigital.com. All of our social media links and emails are in the description. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you next time.